Hi viewers, welcome to the channel. In today's tutorial, we shall focus on question number 5 coming from the 2024 additional mathematics ECZ examination for general certificate of education ordinary level. The question is coming from paper 1 and the question falls under the topic of circular measures. So let's try to check where the question is located. So this is the actual paper where the question is coming from. Let's try to check where the question is located in this paper. So this is question number five. This is question number five that we're interested in in today's tutorial. So the question reads in the diagram OSC is a sector of a circle center O and radius 5 centimeters. AF is equal to CD and that is equal to 2 centimeters. DE is equal to EF and that is equal to 2 centimeters. And OB intersects DF at 90 degrees at E. So now the question has two parts it has part A and part B. Part A carries three marks and then part B carries two marks. So now the question states find part A which states that value of theta in radians and then part B length of arc AC. So this is the whole question. This is the whole question. Now Let's try to get into the solving and I hope you haven't forgotten to, to subscribe to this channel so that you're updated with each and every tutorial which is uploaded on this YouTube channel. And also don't forget to share so that others enjoy the tutorials of additional mathematics and also like and also don't forget to comment so that your views can be heard. So now let's try to get into the solving. So this is where we're going to start from. We are starting from part A. So part A states that find the value of theta in radians. So now how are we going to find the value of theta in radians? So what things are, are we going to consider? What things are we going to consider? So by theta, that is the theta that they mean. They mean that when they say the value of theta. So now, what are we going to do? Let's try to assume something. Let's try to get something. Let's try to get a certain part out of that. So we're going to get that triangle. We're going to get that triangle. So we're going to denote that angle as our theta, but you have to take note that that is not the theta. After finding that, after finding that uh, theta, that is not the actual theta that is requested in the question. So we have just denoted this as theta for us, uh, for it to help us. So we are given that that side it is two centimeters, and then that side it is three centimeters. Now, what sides do we have? Remember. This is a right angled triangle. This is a right angled triangle. That is one thing that you should take note. It is a right hang, uh, it is a right angled triangle. So now, what is the next step that you should take? You have to check that side. It is the opposite. It is the opposite. And then the longest side in a right angled triangle, it is called the hypotenuse. So that is the hypotenuse. So one thing that you should follow is uh, this, which is Sokatoa. So we have Sokatoa. Sokatoa. So now in this statement, we have the opposite and the hypotenuse. So what does this imply? So this one. It is telling us that we are going to use the word so. We are going to use the word so. So in this case, it will be the so 
the word so has three letters the s represents the sign and then the o represents the opposite and then the h represents the hypotenuse so in this case it will be sine theta is equal to so we have the opposite which is up there and then the hypotenuse which is down so now what is the next step in this case we want to find the in that triangle which we have uh, drawn we have to find the value of theta in rods so in this case we have the hypotenuse uh, we have the opposite as 2 and then the hypotenuse as 3 so remember our main target is to make theta the subject so how are, how are we going to make theta the subject we're going to say theta is equal to sine inverse of 2 over 3 so after this you can use your calculator to find the value of theta you can calculate this by using your calculator so you have to before you calculate you have to take note that your calculator should be in rads put your calculator in radians that is one thing that you should keep in mind put your calculator in radians so after you have calculated you are going to find that the value of theta will give you Theta is equal to 0 0.72972765 like that. So after rounding this one off, you're going to find that it will give you 0 0.73. So now, what is this our answer? So this is not our answer. This is not the final answer. That is one thing that you should keep in mind. So we were only finding the value of theta in that triangle that we drew so we found the theta as 0 0.73 rads so that is the theta now when you check this one we have two similar triangles we have two similar triangles so if that is 0 point uh, if that is if that is 0 0.73 if that is 0 0.73 rads what about that one so that one will also be 0 0.73 rads so what are we going to do we are going to multiply 0 0.73 rads by 2 since we have two similar triangles so after multiplying you're going to get 1.46 rads so this is now our actual answer you have to say that therefore theta is equal to 1.46 rads so this is how you're supposed to answer such questions this is how you, uh, this is how you answer part a let's now go to the next part of uh, this question which is part b so part b is that find the length of arc ac how do we find the arc length how do we find the arc length? So arc length is equal to ara theta. Arc length is equal to ara theta. That is one thing that you keep in mind. And then the ara represents the radius. And then the theta represents the angle which forms the sector in radians. Make sure that it is in radians. So that is our radius. It is 3 plus 2. It is 3 plus 2 which will give us 5 centimeters so 5 and then even in the statement we are given that the radius is 5 centimeters so we are going to write that and then the theta our theta we already found it as 46 rods that is our theta So theta is equal to 1.46. You even put them in brackets that are like that. And then after that, you have to multiply. 
after that you have to multiply and then after multiplying it will give you 7.3 and then don't forget to put the units so the units in this case are centimeters because it is dealing the sector is dealing with centimeters so in this case it will give you 7.3 centimeters so this is how you're supposed to answer such questions so you can say therefore arc length is equal to 7.3 centimeters like that so this is how you're supposed to score marks in an exam room this is how you're supposed to score marks in an exam room i hope you haven't forgotten to subscribe to this youtube channel thank you for watching see you to another video tutorial